Okay, so this morning I kind of have an experimentation. I did um, half a cup of instant oatmeal made with water and then I put two tablespoons of PB2 and a quarter cup of sugar-free maple syrup, which I think brings this breakfast to a total of six points, but this is a really large bowl. So, um, oh, it's really good. I ran out of eggs in the English muffins I normally use. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd try this, but it's really good. Okay, so I just got done grocery shopping, and I am going to do a haul when I get home, but I just wanted to share that my hair is just, I don't know, it looks kind of weird. Um, I just wanted to share this with you because I feel like someone out there will really appreciate this. So, my kids wanted a cart with a car. I'm at Kroger and it's like the little ones, the cars in the front and then you have like a basket but it's like a little bit smaller of a basket. Anyway, that's besides the point. So I was like, you know what? They generally have a lot of fun when we do that. Um, they honestly usually are like super good in the store. Um, and they get along pretty good. I don't know. So this car, I started pushing it and they were like sitting in the little thing and it was like the hardest cart to push and it was really loud. But it was the last one left and I thought, you know what? For everyone to be happy, this is fine. So basically what ended up is I was like probably a quarter of the way done with grocery shopping and um, Diesel was sitting in the like child seat in the front because he didn't want to be in the car and he kept r literally climbing out and almost dying and then okay not literally because someone understands me oh my gosh I, don't, I have like a cow lick and I'm very self-conscious of it apparently and I'm really hot now <laughs> because it's like 90 degrees here yeah, I'm really hot now. I am so and then when yes and so then winter decides you were really hot. Okay, so she decides that she wants to walk I, with I, me. I, really I am, but I'll cool down in a minute because the air conditioning is on. So she decides she wants to walk She's with me. So no one is sitting in the car that I purposefully got this cart for. And it was the, I don't know, I guess Diesel just cried almost the whole time. Or like not cried, but like fussed. And that's just so unlike him. Anyway, and this cowlick is just really annoying me. So I was just really a little stressed. <laughs> so I didn't get to get some of the things I wanted, um, like pickles, which is very weird for me. I used to hate pickles, but after I had Diesel, I liked them. Um, I really wanted one to go my sandwich today and there was like a few oh they were just putting out watermelons and they look so good I wish I'd gotten a watermelon but we could not he might even be asleep almost look at him look at that baby look at that baby so I don't know it's not I mean it's like if he were to take a nap it's like almost his nap time not even like there so it was so stressful. So, I don't have dry skin all up on my nose, girl, from my cold. So, I just wanted to say, if you're doing Weight Watchers or any form of, like, healthy eating plan and grocery shopping is really challenging for you because you have kids or I don't I don't even know, um, you are not alone, girl. You are not alone at all. And... Oh, it was just, I just felt like everyone was staring at me like, can you get your kids under control? Well, Winter was being really good. She was a really good helper. Um, Diesel was the one that was kind of making a lot of noise. And it's very unlike him. So, I also, um, I guess this will be kind of like my check-in for the day. I also have a doctor's appointment to get my thyroid rechecked because I haven't had it rechecked in a year, which is really bad. Um, and with, it was with moving and everything. Obviously, I have to find a different doctor. Hopefully, I like this doctor. Um, I think I will. I'm hopeful. So, um, because I haven't taken my thyroid medication for about a week now, which is really bad. I don't recommend it, but I ran out and my, they, it's like a long story. So, anyway, hopefully I'll get that taken care of. But I got like a front row parking spot and I know people are like, are you leaving yet? <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to go. I have a feeling maybe that one might fall asleep. <laughs> See, he was just doing that the whole time in the store. Like, not a full-on cry, just like a little cry. Okay, well, I'm going to get to going. I'll show you everything when I get home. The kids only got to pick 
one thing out each. So I think everything else is like very Weight Watcher friendly. Oh, look, there's a dog. <laughs> anyway, okay. Also, I would like to add, as I walked up to my car, I noticed that I really need air in two of my tires and it's kind of stressing me out now because I don't know how to do it. Not gonna lie. Can't, I don't know how. Okay, so I'm home. I've unloaded my groceries, but I haven't put most of them up. That's just the kids stuff. They got to pick out one thing each. <sighs> Luckily, it's not stuff <sighs> that tempts me, but I'll show you what I got. They're playing outside. I can hear them. It's a little concerning. So let me try and get through this quickly. Um, I got some sharp, no, I can't even say it, sharp cheddar, which is for a recipe I'm making. Did I already say this? I'm making a chicken pot pie casserole bubble up thing that's Weight Watcher friendly. So that's for my recipe. I got four of those. These are really good. And I mix them with tuna and vegetables. It's really good. I got this bread also for recipe. I'm going to make some meatballs later on the week, uh, sandwich thins light English muffins, some rice, eggs, these Vitatop things. I used to love these when I did um, like my fitness pal and stuff. Oh, they're calling for me. Okay, I'll go really fast. These mini peanut butter filled pretzels. I think they were four points for 28. That sounded really good. Some sugar free blackberry preserves. Um, can't believe it's not butter spray. I'm not a huge fan of stuff like this, but I wanted to give it another try. Some skim milk, American cheese, ground turkey, and then I also got a pack of that sweet Italian turkey sausage. I have never cooked that before, so I'm curious to see. I got these as a treat. They're four points. i um, not a huge fan of mint chocolate, so I feel like this will be a good treat, but I won't be like tempted to eat the whole box in one night because I have done that before, and you don't want to do that with 501, I'm just saying. Okay, over here, a little can of biscuits for my recipe tonight. This is also for my recipe tonight. A lot of stuff I've never used. I have never used this before. So, um, some Jif Whips peanut butter, um, pasta. We're going to have spaghetti and meatballs later on. This is for tonight. I used to hate canned vegetables, and now I'm like, girl, I, I just need to get this done. Some uh, peas for the recipe tonight. More pasta. Some light pasta sauce. Some olive oil Pam. I have another one, and it's like leaking like crazy, and... It is so stressful every time I go to use it. You should not be stressed about things like that in life. Um, some more Truvia. I don't know why I always pick out like these coffee flavors. They all taste the same to me. I am not joking. But butter toffee and brown sugar crumble donut. I mean, it just makes me feel like I'm, I'm eating these, but they all taste the same. <sighs> so that's what I got. And I'm gonna try and make some lunch now and I'll show you my lunch. And I'll show you the recipe. Um, I, I won't show myself cooking it because tonight is the night Lawrence works really late. So I'll be here by myself. So it's kind of crazy. I already need to go outside right now because, whew. Okay, so that's my grocery haul. Okay, let me see your outfit. You got the gazes. Okay, come a little closer. Do you have your necklace on still or did no. you take it off? I took Oh, you left it in the car? Oh, you left it in the car? Yeah. Okay, but you still have your tiara on? Yeah, but both of them are in the car. Okay. Can, can, can you do a twirl? Ooh, beautiful. Okay, what are you going to do? Whoa. <laughs> I love it. Mom. Good job. Can I get a high five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so here's my lunch. I have a sandwich with two fat-free cheese things on it, some turkey meat, or like deli turkey, some of the peanut butter filled pretzels, and two common times that I had to already peel up because my children love them. Oh, so I have fed everyone else, and now I'm excited for my lunch. Oh, and this is all eight points, just so you know. Hi everyone, so I'm back in the car. <laughs> I had um, my doctor's appointment for my thyroid today and it went good, as in I feel like I found a really good doctor who understands um, a lot about the thyroid. Um, but at the same time, I don't know why. I just, I'm kind of depressed after it. And I think it's because when we were talking, she was kind of, because I'm on I'm on two different thyroid medications. I'm on one um, that like 
the generic of Synthroid, which is what most people with thyroid issues take. But I also have issues with my T3 hormone, which is um, like, it's I, it's really hard to explain. Anyway, it's it's kind of uncommon. I get not, I don't know if uncommon is the right word. I'm not really sure what the right word is. But she was like, you know, she basically described it as um, the T4 is like Danny DeVito and the T3 is like Arnold Schwarzenegger. But there's only 20% of your T3 and the rest of it is T4. So, but if your T3 is not, like, basically, it, mine doesn't work. So, if you're, if it's not working, then you can't, um, what's it called when, it, um, your body can't, like, break down the medication. I can't think of the word right now. I'm, like, so, like, child brain fried. It's, like, not even funny. So, we were just talking about that, and she's actually given me Synthroid to try, and then another brand, a new brand that's kind of like Synthroid, but cheaper, and um, we're going to check my blood in four weeks because I haven't been taking thyroid medication for the past week or so. So we know if we do my blood now, my blood test, it's I'm not going to be accurate, so um, I'm going to go back and see her then. Um, and then we talked and told her I was on Weight Watchers and kind of told her like my whole background, um, which if you don't know, is pretty much all on my channel. Um, and she was like, continue with the Weight Watchers. And I brought up to her about my, I don't know if concern is the right word, my confusion as to how like vegetables and fruits are zero points. Like to me, that's just... I've always counted calories on my fitness pal and she kind of agreed with me and she also was like you know someone with your condition it, it's just a little different like weight loss and she's like there are medications that can help with weight loss blah 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 and I don't know it just like depressed me like I want to be like why can't I just be fat and do Weight Watchers and lose the weight and it not have another contributing factor you know because I've always heard like people blaming a uh, weight on a thyroid and like what a joke it is like don't put your weight on that but in this case like I actually legitimately have an issue and I don't like it and it makes me sad <laughs> and I guess what she's saying is the medication be can get it under control but I'm it's like always going to be there like I don't know I really liked her. She was a really good doctor and like a really good, I feel like she listened to me and she knew what I was talking about. Like I have been to so many endocrinologists and doctors that are just like, what? Like I, I really feel like they look at me and just think like, you're a lot, you're a, a, a lossy, you're a fat, lazy person. And for a while I was like, if you like you've seen my old videos I was and then I changed it up I decided I didn't want to be that way anymore and I've never really gone completely back I've had my moments I've had trials in life I've had struggles and food has always been a love of mine like oh my gosh in so many ways but anyway I've been talking for almost five minutes this is crazy I need to go in and get diapers but I just wanted to kind of update you and for anyone else out there that might be having like some issues with your thyroid you're not alone and it's it's just it's like one more thing like I don't know sorry my hand is starting to get tired <laughs> um I don't know and she was just like obviously stay away from processed food blah 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 and um like you would just talk and she's like you know you've lost a lot of weight before so it's not anything you don't know and she's like, it sounds like you're doing that now. And I was like, yeah, but I am not eating as clean as I did the first time. And I said, and it's a convenience factor because I'm so much busier now. And she was actually very, very understanding about that. Some doctors would be like, wow, that's just an excuse and be rude. A person just pulled in front of me. They're going to think I'm so weird. I mean, I am kind of weird, but not that weird. But they're going to think I'm really weird. So it was just nice to have a doctor that was listening like she 
I feel like she's gonna get to the bottom of this until I feel better because I told her like I don't know we just went into it um so we'll see how the new medication goes and um I mean I have to wait four weeks it's it's like losing weight I'm not gonna see any results overnight or anything but I hope this is the beginning of a path to me being healthier I don't even need to be super skinny I just want to be healthier so anyway I just thought I'd update you on that I really need to run in and as soon as I get home I get to start cooking dinner where has the day gone I don't even know okay so I just came out of the store I'm in a little bit better of a mood I think I don't know I just this I just have to change my lifestyle like I am not going to eat like not processed foods forever in my life so I guess even I'm coming to terms of like even if I just lose a half pound every week for years it's better than nothing so speaking of which I'm saying that because I got the slim fast baked chips 100 calorie snack I'm really hungry and I'm kind of proud of myself that I didn't even dawn on me until I was walking out of the store that like I was not tempted to buy any like junk food or comfort food I just knew like I'm hungry right now and I don't want to go home and start making dinner when I'm hungry so I'm gonna sit here and eat this because I have the opportunity right now and um, it's three points by the way so I'll see how they are it says that did I already say it says satisfies hunger we'll see we'll see about that but yeah Okay, so I am such a crumb, and I forgot to show you any of the dinner I made. So I just actually portioned, there were two portions left over, so I'll show you what it looks like. I was going to say, it's not going to look very appealing now. It was good. Um, I know what I would do differently next time. Um, I'll put more vegetables in it to make it a little more filling, because that was 10 points. It's like a 13 by nine and makes six servings. Um, yeah, I'll put more vegetables in it. But it was good. And right now, Lawrence left the pantry open. Oh, that is like my project is to clean the pantry or organize it, but I haven't done it. So that's what it looks like. I forgot to show my plate earlier. So, yeah, I think it turned out good. I would just tweak a few things next time. Oh, and I'm going to have something else because, like, I'm still hungry and it's 8 o'clock. I'll probably have something sweet a little later on, like maybe if we watch one of our shows. Lawrence just got home, so I don't know what he needs to do. But he said that the casserole was good, so that's always good. I'm having a light baby bell cheese and a light and fit Greek yogurt and the salted caramel. I feel like these all kind of taste the same. So, but that's what I'm gonna have. Okay, so I'm having my last little treat. I'm having some Halo Top ice cream with a Vita Top chocolate muffin thing underneath it. And I'm real excited about it. So, anyway, hopefully, this wasn't too long and rambly. Thank you for listening to me about my thyroid issues. It's kind of frustrating, but you know, what you go and do, but the best you can do. <laughs> so anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.